Jeff Paul is in San Francisco with the latest on all of this. Jeff. Yeah, John, and we are just learning that one of the people who is set to speak here in San Francisco has now made a major announcement announcing that he will not be running for president. That would be Congressman Seth Moulton, who now joins the likes of Governor Jay Inslee and former Governor John Hickenlooper ending their bid for the White House. But there still are plenty of Democrats that are aiming to get into the White House. One of those people, Senator Bernie Sanders, who yesterday was in Paradise, California, announcing his $16 trillion plan to stop global warming. To intro that plan, he used the backdrop of the campfire, which killed 86 people last November, the deadliest fire in California's history. Sanders referenced President Franklin Roosevelt's New Deal when speaking about his plan, saying it could help create 20 million jobs. It would set aside more than $2 trillion of need-based grants for homeowners and businesses to weatherize their structures, another $2 trillion to phase in electric vehicles and replace gas fuel cars and trucks, and also billions of dollars to rebuild the country's power grid. But Senator Sanders was also asked if his plan would have stopped fires like the one that devastated Paradise, California. And here's what he had to say. I can't say that. But what I can say is we have billions of dollars in a fund to strengthen local and state ability to move aggressively when crises come. I mean, you can't have small towns combating these terrible fires on their own, even with state help. So we're going to put a lot of money into strengthening our fire fighting capabilities. Climate change likely set to be a big topic of discussion here, but that there won't be a climate change debate. That was one of the decisions made by the DNC on Thursday, which sparked protests from activists who could be heard chanting. But the DNC insisting there are a wide range of topics to focus on, and if they choose one, it could set a very difficult precedent. It seems like the base wants this, the candidates want this, the energy is behind this, but then it's the DNC leadership saying no, and we're just trying to figure out why. If you have a climate debate, you need to have an, an, a debate for every issue area, and there are more than 12 issues that the Democratic Party believes are important, and there are more than 12 issues that the American voter wants to hear from voters about, or from our candidates about. Now, we're being told Congressman Seth Moulton, who has dropped out, he's still going to speak here and more formally explain his decision. But notably that uh, Joe Biden and Pete Buttigieg will both not be here. Instead, they will be out campaigning in New Hampshire. John. Jeff Paul. Jeff, thank you.